If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. Also, uh, this and Future Connected don't have much in common, but so far, it only has one thing in common. No, not because it's a Xenoblade story. Uh, in that it starts off with a man and a woman. And just like with Future Connected, I care significantly more about her than I do about Jin. And I even know Jin thanks to the actual story. I mean, I like both of them, but, you know, I like the lady. It's surreal knowing what happens to the, well, everyone who's with us at the moment. I think, I think it's an automatic topple upon bringing him in. I mean, you know, assuming that there's a break involved first. Let's get the ingredients and then get cooking. Uh, huh. Well, I killed things. This is becoming addictive. If you say so. I help. That was easy. Right, we've got our ingredients. Fire's nice and toasty. I think we're all set for the night. Jin, would you mind making a start on the cooking? I'll get right to it. Yes, I know my face is blocking you. I can't really put my face anywhere without it covering something. The blade's doing the cooking. Got a problem with that? Yes. Better gin than me. If I were in charge, I'd probably end up losing a limb to peeling these veggies. It's not all one-sided, though. Laura has her own talents, like making charms. That I could never do. Right, we make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses. Convenient. Blade or driver, no one has a shoulder to all the burden. Huh. Okay, I'm going to start making the hot dogs. It won't take long. Eh? What's this? Use, create crafts by unique skills. Chat with your allies. Laura, about that battle earlier. I know, right? We are phenomenal. You were trying to do too much. Aw, oh, what? I thought you were going to praise me. I'm only trying to draw out that full power, Jane. You know that. That's fine, and I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, please don't put yourself at risk, Laura. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Jin? I miss, I miss Mithra, Nia, Morag. Bridget, Dromark, Poppy. Uh, haven't we, Jen? Ever since I touched your core crystal as a little girl, and we became bonded as forever as Driver and Blade, forever is a very short time. Yeah. It's a bond closer than blood, I think. That's the part of the reason why I want to help you too, to see you grow and be there for you. That's beautiful, Laura, but you're a driver, and I am a blade. Blades protect their drivers in a fight. It's the natural order of things. Especially since we don't need to worry about being wounded as for as long as the core crystal stays intact. While I, on the other hand, am just a boring human. When a driver dies, their blades return to their cores. That's why you want me to be more careful, right? Exactly. I don't care if you die, but I don't want to die. Essentially. Right, I get it. Well, it's not like I want to make you anxious in the middle of a fight. Okay, I promise not to overdo it, and if things start to start looking bad, I'll be sure to switch out for you. That would be great, thanks. I'm counting on you, then. You know I never let you down. Never gonna give you up and whatnot. Didn't I just... Still has the exclamation mark. There's more? Okay. Hey, Jin, can you take care of the cooking? Sure. I think I can contrive a decent hot dog. Out of the stuff we gathered. Awesome, I could really 
do with the proper meal right about now. Shouldn't be too long. Ah, well, that was it. Alright, craft. Okay. Craft pouch items that can improve your battle capabilities. Uh, improve. Uh, so both do something. I'm gonna go with the lady. Now, let me see. Ah, that's what they meant by. Can you do all the cooking? Ah, hi, dog. Just taste it. How aggressive! Just taste it. How sad. That village, I mean. It is. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? Anyway, you should rest now. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food, then rest up. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks. Hmm, that really hit the spot. You know, I really can't think of anything better than waking up to Jin's cooking. Scrumptious. Agreed. You scarf that down quick. Uh... Want seconds? He, he just went straight behind her and went, But! I know he's a child, but still, he went right behind her and looked straight at her ass. Mikhail, relax. He's not gonna bite you. Don't let the whole moody thing fool you. He is genuinely concerned about you. Moody thing? Look, if there's anything you need, just tell us, alright? Nuh-uh. I'm fine, really. Okay, I hear you. Listen, I know Jim can... Uh, Wanna compose? Listen, I know Jim can be... It can seem a bit scary, but he's really very gentle. You'll get used to him. Agreed. I just need to clean up here, then we can move out. Feltley can't be far, can it? Uh, where we're meeting up with Hayes. That's right, there's still a, ways, still a way to go, but if we keep up to the road, it won't take long. But Well, now that we had uh, this shit refresh... Might as well gather stuff oh, again. Intrepid. You know, technically Morag is not Morag, Bridget is from this era, so maybe we can see her. This is becoming addictive. The fact that uh Laura uh, okay. The fact that Laura is playable. Makes me wonder if you hack the main story, can you bring her into uh, right. to the main squad? Because the main story works differently than the side story. There's no vanguard shit. There we go. Cool. Well, yes. the Yes. What? I missed it. Okay, Ike.
when we inevitably fight a boss, I will presumably be a decent level for it. Now, I do think that the story is going to be decently long. I mean, Bad Story Future Connected was approximately, uh, what, like three to five hours if you take out just the gameplay and such. Uh, but, uh, they, they could just make us a, like, the final boss in level 15. I don't fucking know. Or the boss could be level 82. Depending on how long uh, the story is, I might have to take a break, because I will be playing uh, Fire Emblem Engage when that comes out. Oh, did I get bum rush? I forgot the, uh, the whole enemies are passive or... No, no, it was in Xeno 2 as well. I was gonna say it was just a Xeno 1 thing, but no, it was in Xeno 2. I noticed they were passive starting in Xeno 2. So I'm fairly certain I recognized that, uh... Unlike the ice level or whatever. Which is always a gosh damn ice level. I should be, uh properly balancing my attacks and whatnot, but like, these are level 3. This is gonna be the last thing I kill, because I feel like we're about to enter an area with maybe level 5s, hopefully. And perish. There we go. Ah, uh, they're so happy. Ah, that they're friends! Though I will murder anything that attacks me. There it is. I was debating if this was a spawn point or a collection. Surely, ah, there. That's why you come over. Aren't we intrepid? Define intrepid. Quack. I'm very stupid. I don't know what that means. This is becoming addictive. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if editing me just put up the definition because he's a smartass. Or I might not have. Hey. You wanted to fight me. I, I was gonna just walk by, try to look at her underwear, but uh, I was just gonna walk by. And then you you had to go and fight me, bitch. And that's a break. Topple. Flash, flash, stab, and you're dead. It's too soon to give in. Nice, nice. Um. How am I walking? I, I don't know what just happened. I wanted to fast travel. Oh, this is the only two places I can go to. I just started walking. It's like I hit the auto run button from the Even first the game. Hey, hey, look! <laughs> Response. Aren't we intrepid? And, and that's going backwards. This is becoming addictive. I missed the Pac-Man line. That was great in telling me I'm where I need to go. Oh, that's a campfire. Okay, this is the path of happiness. 
This is becoming addictive. Also, because this is a new st oh, right. Where was that chest? I was not paying attention. There it is. Because this is a new story, it's very likely that I'll have enemy parts again. Just forewarning. It's very pretty. Where the hell are we? This is becoming addictive. What the hell are you? Nope. Absolutely not. Nice, nice. With all my might. See? I knew you could do it. Heal is all the sound effect. I mean, that was pretty convenient that we had someone to drop down a tree. Becoming addictive. Glad we had we need a specific sword to do that. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't Ow. 23. Yeah. I ain't gonna fight that shit. I'm just gonna keep beating up these caterpies. Thank you very much. I won't enjoy this. Never again. Thanks. I mean, I, I could farm here and just make myself level 20, but I don't care enough to do that. That was nice and easy. May the next one go as swiftly. Oh yes, I forgot about this game's obsession with putting things out of reach. Come on, give me that. I swear this song sounds like Pokemon fight music. Oh, he went. Nice, nice. Alright, now to speed up another squirrel. Alright, with those enemies dead. What is up here? What is up here? What is up here? Well, this will be interesting. Balloofu. You do a lot of damage, sir. I know you're two levels higher, but you do a lot of damage. What is aggro down supposed to do at this point in the game? I did. I did. That is not what I expected. What? Healies? Heal while there's time. I'm fine. Just fine. I'll protect you. You're uh, Catch. I forgot that there was a, a enemy up here. Oh well. We can take them on a bit later. We'll avenge ourselves next time. This is becoming addictive. I don't really care. I would like to uh, go past the non Pac Man line. I think we've been I think Mithra and her OG driver are playable. In this story, I think. So, if that is the case, and where's Mithra? Where's Mithra? Where's Mithra? Aren't we intrepid? Oh, Jin has mineralogy. Nice. You could jump over that, Laura. Come on, thank you. Uh. Excavation. The suspense is nope. killing me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fortitude is Mithra, so. Uh, 
Oh, that'll probably kill me. This is becoming addictive. See, this is why I like the Pac-Man line. Because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. So this is slightly helpful. Because I don't... No, I'm pretty sure this works in Xeno 2. Or Xeno 1, I should say. This the path. Is this one of those things where you have to go forward or go backwards to go forwards? Those are always confusing. This is becoming addictive. Depending on the levels, I may or may not fight things because these things won't give me too much experience points. But he wanted to die, so who am I to deny? It's a request. And... Oh, he's resistant! We found the first resistant enemy. Nice, nice. Just... Grab that. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that all these troll fucks are attacking me at once. What is this, Xenoblade 1? There we go. Oh, did another one immediately spawn? I saw a bird. Well, I guess it's gone. I'm so confused. Does, like, Jin start healing while he's not being used? Ah oh, shit, I gotta kill these things. Alright, follow my lead. I won't enjoy this. Wait a minute. More trouble? Lure worked! No, no it didn't. I take it back. I was gonna say Xeno 1 can learn from this good feature, but nah. See, now I'm tempted to go fight that boar thing again. Yeah, kaboom. Just because I got a whole ass level up now. Did I miss? How dare you. Let's hurry on ahead. Okay, yes, I am going forward. Thought that said crap load of tea. These guys should be no problem. I, I just I gotta keep fighting things. I have quickly learned that running through things is not the Xenoblade way. Give it a few more seconds. Okay, Jin. This game is making me kill puppies. I just realized this now. That is no bueno. Also, I feel like day is a lot shorter in this game. These guys should be no live to regret I have a thousand health. Juicing the fruit. Also, so far this story is already immensely better. Despite uh, playing for an hour, uh, 
Uh, because there's no no pawns yet. I don't know if we get one later. He's. Are you pulling a a dough on me? It's just not working. I mean, I'm cool with that if you just want to be a punching bag. But it kind of makes me feel bad for murdering you. That 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 one bit of uh, da, 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 that is Pokemon bike music. Hooray! I killed an animal that uh, this is becoming a dick that meant me no harm. It's like I'm playing Monster Hunter. Hooray! I always kind of feel bad about hunting monsters in Monster Hunter. Because they are just casually exploring the world, just having fun, you know, living their life. But then as soon as they see me, they start attacking me. And I, I, I could just be gathering shit and they'll still be trying to, trying to murder my ass. And, uh, it, it's just a weird situation. I don't want to murder you, I just want to move on, get my stuff and leave. And here you are getting in my way. But I, I still kind of feel bad, I feel bad for the ones that I sneak up on and murder. If they start fighting me, then I don't feel bad about murdering them. But like, if I take a mission to just capture or murder something out of the blue, I feel kind of bad. Oh, also, full disclosure here, if you're watching me beat up enemies and I'm not saying anything, that's just because I needed filler to make half an hour's worth of a video. Because usually when I don't say anything, I'm just editing out the fights. You don't need to see me take down every single individual enemy. So, this is becoming a if I'm not saying anything, it is genuinely just filler. These guys should be no problem. I won't enjoy this. Also, the thought occurs. Are we going to have Malos as a villain twice? Jin is the protagonist for this story, and Mithra in the past said that he uh, fought against Malos' ideals and whatnot, and I assume that's this story. Resistance down. I don't know if it's a good thing or not that I can't... Uh, get to level three. Uh, oh, there it is. Before the enemy dies, like that. I am gonna pause this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Jackass out.